So we're at Paradise Bay on Lake George, and Paradise Bay is one of the places where we first found hemlock woolly adelgid uh, infesting and actually killing some of the hemlock trees in the Lake George area. And so what we're doing today is releasing predators that we've collected from the west coast of North America um, that will eat these uh, hemlock woolly adelgids and hopefully over time control the population so the hemlocks will not be damaged. It's a long-term control technique. Uh, the predator populations need time to build so, to the levels that they will actually control the adelgids. And it's a matter of mathematics, actually. You, if you can imagine how many adelgids are out here feeding on the trees, uh, the word bazillion comes to mind. And we're just releasing 2,000 of these, of these uh, beetles right now today. And so it takes a long time for the populations of the beetles to build up to the point that they'll be able to kind of control the adelgids. Uh, so we bring the Laracobius beetles out into the field. Uh, they're vialed up into, into vials with um, Excelsior. Uh, which is just wood shavings. Um, we then take those beetles on those wood shavings and uh, just place them under the hemlock branches. Um, so we're looking for hemlocks that are infested with adelgid uh, so those beetles can move from that release material right onto the, the tree and begin feeding uh, immediately. These beetles during summertime were pupating and becoming adults. Um, so they emerged as early as August and they'll emerge um, until like late November and so we're kind of like in the prime time of their emergence which is like end of October. Um, so these beetles are hungry and <laughs> they're ready to eat all the hemlockoli adelgid that we have here in this area and they will feed throughout the winter time and then they will make babies in the spring and then the cycle will go all over again. So we'll come back here over the next few years um, in the fall looking for those adults when they emerge, uh, emerge in the fall um, and then we'll also do larval sampling in the spring where we come back and collect infested hemlock, bring it back to the lab and look for those, uh, those beetle larvae to actually drop from that foliage which will help us to confirm establishment here. Mm -hmm.